we are at Turkey Camp 2021. Tomorrow morning is opening day for the youth season. And we got a youth tag holder here. All right, we're gonna go for a ride up the road and see if we can uh, find some birds, maybe roost something. So we have a good starting point tomorrow morning. Well, we saw one tom on the way up just now, gobbled once. So we've got one kind of place marked, but what we do is we, we're gonna get up on this ridge right here. And we're gonna check this whole valley out. Usually we can hear them gobble. Sometimes we can spot them and we watch them where they roost and then we'll go in after them in the morning. All right, we roosted a couple toms up the hill from us here. This is opening morning 2021 of the youth hunt. Aaron's got a couple tags in his pocket. We're gonna go up here on this mountain and climb up here a little bit south of Deacon to see if we can call a turkey in. What happened was, at the Maverick this morning, before we started hiking up here, I kind of hem hawed about him putting a shell in the chamber because we had to hike up this hill. And then when he got part way up, he went ahead and he went to put a shell in the chamber, but he was trying to be quiet. And so the round did not go into the chamber. So when that turkey came in, his no gun bullet. said, click. <laughs> I shouldn't have. You know, in the interest of safety, I was trying not to load it in the chamber, but we should have just loaded it in the chamber and then put it on safety and, and watched the barrel all the way up, huh? Mm. Kind of my fault. All right, so we came back down to where we're parked. The turkeys are gobbling right over this hill down in the bottom, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to sneak around this point, drop down low, and uh, call with the decoy out and see what happens. You'll be the first to know. His neck? Yeah. Oh, dang it, dude. Oh, I don't know if I even got that on video. He's right behind you. Oh. Yeah, if you shoot like that and they jump up and cock another shell and get another one at him. It's alright, bud. <laughs> Cooking breakfast over here. We got chorizo and hash browns going. We're gonna throw some eggs in. And, uh, ooh, yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, first morning was fun. We'll call it a success, because we called two turkeys in, but. So this is uh, day two. We got another bird roosted, kind of using a different technique today. We're not going right in after the bird. We're gonna set up in a spot where you know he likes to come to, so. We're gonna try this today. Special guest, Manny, Aaron's dad. Good morning. <laughs> First ever turkey hunt, right? Yep. We're going to catch two turkeys today. <laughs> we catch them? 
and yeah, then release them. No. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing catch, catch release. Catch. Oh wait, that's fishing. That's Sorry. Fish. Tom's trying to fight. I get to focus on him. All right, we, uh, man, we were on that Tom tonight. He circled us. Did not like our setup. All right, end of the youth trip. What do you think? A lot of fun. Awesome. I'm a youth. They wouldn't give me a gun. <laughs> you could you could have killed two turkeys in the last couple days, right? You know, if they had, I could have roped them. Yeah, <laughs> the one for sure, like 15 yards from me while we were calling him. Yeah, Bob stayed up on the ridge above us, and the turkey circled us and went walked right to Bob. But we couldn't yeah. get a shot higher. Nope. I want to see that footage. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. But yeah. anyway, we're leaving camp here because we're going to be back in about three days. And then the uh, regular season starts, but Aaron had two chances. Went to went south on both of them. Now, nah, well, you know things happen. I yeah, mean, we've all missed them, and yeah. Braden's missed a couple. If you do it every day, all the time, it wouldn't be done. Right? I wouldn't change the experience for anything. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good time for sure. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna roll home. All right, guys. Opening morning turkey season. 2021. Our goal today is to get Bob a turkey. He's never shot one. Had our morning coffee. It's time to go. I believe they're already out here ready to go. We've got Steve and Bob. Braden's coming up in a couple days. Um, my good camera's not working, so we're trying to figure out how to film everything. But anyway, let's get going. There's a guy that's coming out of the camper. We're ready to go. Now, I, I don't, Steve wants to ride with Bob, and he's giving me all kinds of excuses about, uh, Bob doesn't see very well early in the morning, so I have to drive for safety reasons. We're, uh, we're talking uh, about a good book we've been both reading, and we're kind of recapping on it. And, yeah, uh, what's the book called? Uh, yeah, well, that's out for the shop, you know. Yeah, Bob, you want to take it from here? I, I must say, uh, I, that, uh, I'm going to have to read the book, too. Uh, I have to ride by myself. Yesterday, Steve was willing to ride with me on the way up, but as it got dark and colder... I was concerned some... about Bob's safety, so I thought I'd take over the helm. Okay, we're we're going to walk in here, but last night when we spotted this Tom Rooston, what did we see? Two, three bears. Yeah. Yes, mama bear and two baby bears. Okay, so you have your bear spray with you? Uh, yeah, it's right here on my back. <laughs> and, 
right. Twelve gauge shotgun. That's right. That's right. And the pistol and I. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see if Bob's got his. Literally, the next. Came Bob, out. you know, last night we saw a sow and two cubs up here. Yeah. So did you bring your bear spray? Steve yeah. did. Right yeah. there's his. Yeah. My bear spray is kind of back down lower. Not <laughs> <laughs> treating Teresa last that night. That sow won't want nothing to do if she smells that. <laughs> Good thing turkeys can't smell. is right here. He just is not coming out for a shot. He's close. Bob and Steve are set up up the hill right here. But that dog just gobbled right past the decoys up there on the hill. Just can't quite get him in for a shot. Ah, he's back a little further back in there now. Thought he was closer than that, but he's not coming much closer. chasing that Tom all morning. Fun morning. Yeah, we were on him for a while, man. Yeah. So close. That was probably the closest we've been. Yeah, for you. For me, yeah. And not getting yeah. a shot. He was he was a big Tom, man. Wow. He'll probably be back in here tonight, but I don't now you got all these people down here. We got a guy down here blowing a crow call. Lots of hunters in here. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, we'll have to figure out what to do. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Last night we saw a sow and two cubs. Sow and two cubs. Over on baby it. And then in there. Steve just found a den. Yeah. They got a one bedroom condo on the side of the mountain. Pretty nice yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can set it up for on a six month lease. Well, well Bob, yeah. uh, you know, the way the, the market's moving around this area, um, I think we might have to go to 12. Well, you might have We've got to go to a shared condo. Shared condo. Oh, yeah, really? that, that October to March time frame. You may have <laughs> unwanted guests. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to fight for it. I have the camera going. So I got... It's still going? I, I just turned it on. Oh, you did? Yeah. We uh, had a Tom down here gobbling. One back there gobbling and one down here gobbling. And as soon as they come out of the tree, they all went straight to the bottom yeah. of this canyon and took off. Didn't even give us a look, nothing. You know like a rocket. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I guess we just keep keep trying to see what happens. Well, we walked our butts off, driving back to camp to get breakfast. This Tom was strutting right here in the road. He jumped across and went up the side. So when I pull up here, I jumped out and ran down here. He was up in the brush and shot him. <laughs> we walked our butts off. Amazing. I gotta say, I, I can't believe I got him through that brush, actually. Yeah. He, he's up in that thicker stuff. Man. Going up the hill. Boom! I was off the road. Let's I was see right the down fan. there. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a nice one. It's good. Maybe five or six inch beard. Not bad. I can't believe that we've been busting our butts hiking every morning. We hiked way down in the canyon this morning. Yep. Can you believe that? Nope. Amazing. Good karma. There you Heck go. Up on my birthday. <laughs> I'm only 25 years old. Is that right? Can no. Oh, tell. 52, sorry. <laughs> April 16th. There you Done go. Deal. Sweet. Yeah. That knife is good for something. That, those scissors are awesome. 
All right, got it tagged up. Keep that. Kind of lucky. Went to move my turkey, and I guess I stepped on the beard. <laughs> Picked it up and popped the beard right off. Oh well. Oh, there's still a little bit right there. Yeah. Still got a little bit of beard on him. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's go to camp and get some beef. We got a dumb goblin right here. We're on our way in to meet up with Stephen Bottle. But we got three toms. Trying to get on one. He's got one like crazy right here. Oh my god, Braden, this guy's turkey. We snuck over the ridge on him. Oh, that's unbelievable. We freaking saw him from the road, got in here, calling, he was gobbling, gobbling. He, they just came over this ridge and Braden popped him in about 60 yards. Get that sucker, get his neck. <laughs> Grab his neck, dude. Uh -huh. Grab his neck. <laughs> yeah, baby. I didn't have the camera on. Western roots. Western roots, baby. You're the luckiest. You are the luckiest turkey hunter I know. I swear to God. <laughs> that was a good shot. He was like, he was like 60 yards. Just rolled him. We gotta go find Grandpa and Steve and go like, oh, hey, gee. hey guys, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. When you said stop, I looked over and I go, dude, he's close enough. Shoot, shoot that turkey. And I said, like, make sure it's a Tom. Then I saw his, saw his beard. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> my birthday's been a good day. Unbelievable, dude. Awesome. I'm shaking like crazy. Oh. That was exciting. Holy cow. That was awesome. Look at this. The same place. Turkey number two, yeah. He killed a turkey here about three years ago. Yeah. The first night he came up, just like just now. Oh, I can't breathe. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Smoked him. Smoked him. Yes. You said, wouldn't that be funny if I shot a turkey <laughs> on the way? <laughs> Flint, plan the tail out here. Let me see. Got him. <sighs> Second day of turkey season, Braden just... Braden just drove up like a madman to get here. And Bob and Steve left early to go up and see if we could roost some birds. And we're coming around the same place Braden shot a bird three years ago. And Steve shot one down the hill the same year. Yes! Kaboom! All right, day three. And uh, we've got the Tom Goblin down in here. And we're gonna drop in on top of him, see if we can do something here.
feet, but stand up and shoot him. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Stand up and shoot him. No, he's done. Last day, this is Sunday morning. We're done, done with our turkey hunt. We ended up getting two turkeys having some breakfast and uh gonna pack up and go home we're done with this but got some trees on eggs and found this uh bob bob come up with this one and done seasoning this is good stuff you can get it online it comes from texas and it's uh got products llc rockwall texas you can order it online but we've had it on our pork chops we put it on our eggs we put it on everything this week it is super good so one and done seasoning Western Roots Outdoors, we're not sponsored, but it'd sure be nice. <laughs>